Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about stars and specifically their colors and temperatures. And we will look at whether hot stars are red and blue stars are cool. So are red stars hotter than blue stars? And what we'll quickly find out is that the answer to this is definitely no. Red stars are not hotter than blue stars. In fact, although, although we associate red with hot and blue with cold in everyday life, that really doesn't apply when we start talking about the physics of the temperature. We can look at the temperatures and relate those through what is called black body radiation. Now a black body called so because it will appear black and that's because it absorbs all of the light striking it and emits light based only on its temperature. So if you have a black tabletop that is going to be a decent approximation to a black body. Why? It absorbs all of the light that strikes it so it's not reflecting anything and it emits light based only on its temperature. Well, what is the temperature of a tabletop? It's room temperature, right? So it's only going to emit infrared light and something that our eyes are not sensitive to. So it's not emitting any visible light. For hotter objects, say the filaments within a electric stove, then you would have you'd be able to start to see them glowing a dull red if you get them hot enough, they'd actually start to glow because of their temperature. Now what relates this in physics is what we call Wien's law and Wien's law relates the peak of the intensity to the temperature. Now let's take a look at that here. And what we see is that for a hotter star, something about 6000 Kelvin, like our sun, the peak is off in the green section of the spectrum. For a cooler star, about 4000 Kelvin, the peak is over in the red portion of the spectrum. So the hotter the star, the shorter the wavelength. So a star at 6000 degrees actually appears about white because it has a pretty good mixture of all the different colors of light. A star much cooler like a 4000 degree star is going to look a little redder. Now this becomes even more extreme if we look at even hotter stars. So, so if we look at a star even hotter than 6000 degrees, it would get it would go up much quicker. Peak. And then come down slowly. Notice how it never crosses and just gets closer and closer. Now that's not a perfect sketch of it, but it gives you the idea that now this star, let's just say this is a 15,000 degree star. Is going to have a peak out of this spectrum altogether. It's going to be peaked out in the ultraviolet. So most of the light we're going to see from it is going to be blue. A very cool star might not even start to come up until we start to get out toward the infrared and it would come up and it would come back down again. So it might be emitting most of its light out here in the infrared. This might be something that's maybe 3000 Kelvin. So there's a very distinct temperature difference, color difference based on the temperatures that we have. Very cool stars are going to look red very hot stars are going to look blue, the higher the temperature, the shorter the wavelength. So for stars, a hot star appears blue and a cool star appears red. Now we can look at one example of this by looking at the Al star Albiero in the constellation of Cygnus. So let's take a look at an image of that. And we have here the two stars. And when we look at them, we can see very distinctly these two stars side by side. The one to the left has a very blue color to it. The one to the right has a distinct red color to it. So we get two very distinct colors here side by side in the sky. And we know from what we've learned here that the star to the left is hotter and the star to the right is cooler. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we've looked at here is that the star color is related to temperature, but it's opposite of what we're used to using here on Earth. So in everyday life, we tend to think of it the other way around. We looked at Wien's law and how that relates the temperature to the peak wavelength of emission. And we decided that a hot star will appear blue 
and a cool star will appear red. So that concludes this discussion on red stars that are not actually hotter than blue stars. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.